Now, the Queen paid tribute to another great British institution today, the Royal British Legion. She attended a Thanksgiving service at Westminster Abbey, marking the charity's 100th anniversary. And although the Queen herself isn't quite into triple figures just yet, there was a clear sign of her advancing years, as Dan Rivers now explains. As patron of the Royal British Legion, the Queen's support at this milestone was never in doubt, but today there were concessions to make her attendance more comfortable. The Princess Royal handing the Queen a walking stick, she entered the Abbey using a side door to avoid awkward steps and a longer walk. This is the first time the Queen's used a walking stick at a major public event. But she wasn't the oldest here. Rear Admiral John Roberts is a sprightly 97. A D-Day veteran with a distinguished naval career, he knows how vital the Legion is for those who serve. For everyone who died, there are probably five family members who suffer uh, and miss them for the rest of their lives as well. And a lot of them need support and help, and the British Legion does do that as well. Naomi Hall served with the RAF in Afghanistan and when she needed help after a life-threatening car crash, the Legion stepped in. It's so reassuring to know that there is somebody there who cares what happens to you, that, that wants to help you on your way forward. Most of us know the Royal British Legion from its annual poppy appeal, but this service is designed to highlight the work it does for the rest of the year, supporting veterans, as it has done for a century. This is a cause close to the Queen's heart. During her reign, countless millions have benefited from the Legion's help. Among them, Isabella Older, whose parents are both in the army. She had to juggle a posy and a curtsy. Not easy, but helped by a 95-year-old with very deft reactions. Dan Rivers, ITV News.